What's up, people? So, um, I am going to tell you a story, um, to make up for Monday, which <laughs> I remember after I started uploading it to you, yesterday's video to YouTube, that I was like, damn it, I was gonna do that. Um, uh, but yeah, but before I do that, um, Joey, you know, Joey Graceffa, um, uploaded a video where, you know, he talked to, like, he talked about how he's gone to, like, therapy and gotten, like, anti-anxiety pills and stuff like that, and, you know, that just kind of, like, really hit home with me. I've dealt with this, and I totally support Joey. Yes. Um, because not everybody can handle a lot of anxiety. I know. I know I couldn't, you know. He, I have way less to deal with than he does. But... Yeah, I'm just really happy for him, you know. He's doing what makes him happy, you know. And he's not affecting anybody else, so why does everybody, you know, why is everyone giving him crap about it? I don't understand that. <sighs> but yeah, so I've been dealt with anxiety. It, you know, I still kind of am. I still take the pills. I have anti-anxiety pills, you know. I don't really talk about that much, because, you know, I don't know why. It just never came up in regular conversation. Um, but yeah. So, on to happier notes. <laughs> um, I really don't know what story I'm going to tell. Um, oh, I know what story I can tell. I just thought about it. I was like, yes! That one. Um, when I was a kid, I had, um, entered this drawing, you know, not expecting anything from it. Don't even remember entering it, actually. But, like, then, um, uh, when I was in elementary school, I was, like, doing gymnastics and stuff like that after school, so I went to gymnastics, you know. I guess I forgot I entered this thing. <laughs> I got a call. My mom's like, hey, you have a phone call. I was like, okay. This was after gymnastics, so I was tired, and I was hungry, and I don't remember, but I was hungry, yeah. But, yeah, so I got the, this call, and I'm like, hello, it's like, hey, is this Robin? He just won a dog. I was like, what? Okay. So we went over to this, you know, I won a dog. It was amazing. Um, we went over to this, uh, person's house, the person who had the drawing, and, you know, we went and picked one out. <laughs> it was so fun, though. I remember just, like, they were, like, all in this little pen, going into this, the pen with them, running around and stuff, and me and my brother actually picked her out. Um, but it was this Doberman, or, yeah, Doberman Dalmatian mix. And we called her Jessie. Or not Jessie, Jasmine. <gasps> Thinking about the dog's name now. Um, we called her Jasmine. And it was amazing. But unfortunately, this doesn't have a happy ending, actually. But yeah, I remember like going and picking her out. And it was so fun and amazing. <laughs> Me and my brother were just like. We were running around with these little puppies, and it was, it was so fun. But, like I said, this story doesn't have a happy ending. Um, at the time, we had this, like, gray and white uh, schnauzer, too. His name was Tuffy. I've had it since I can remember. He was so funny and so cute. Which, we will get back to all the funny moments I've had with them. But, um... When Jasmine grew up, she started becoming somewhat territorial. And she started, like, attacking Tuffy, the schnauzer. And I remember I was at school. And I found out that Jasmine had attacked Tuffy so much so that he was like with so much pain and I was so sad. 
because within like a month I had lost like two dogs. I cried so much. Even going to gymnastics couldn't cheer me up. But yeah. It's not everything has happy endings. <laughs> Found that up. But to lighten up the um because I still do love these the two dogs. Um, yeah, it was sad. But um Tuffy wasn't the smartest dog. He wasn't. And I know this is kind of like three stories in one, but it's just, they're kind of connected. Kind of. Uh, Tuffy. <laughs> we used the oak. Um, the. For, when I was growing up, um, we had this house. I had like this chain link fence so you could uh, either open the door or just a like short little le length. Uh, to get out, or you could like move the entire rest of the fence out. <laughs> well, this dog, Dubby, <laughs> we used to open up the like the fence area to like mow the lawn and stuff like that. Well, this dog <laughs> would sit behind the closed like door. <laughs> yet the rest of the Freaking fence was completely open. He would just sit behind the door. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh, I miss that dog. But, you know, without the. If we, you know, had him as long as he would have, he'd probably have died of, like, some other disease or something that probably would have been worse, but yeah, losing two dogs in one, like, within like a few months, I forget if it's like, a, it was a month or two months, I forget, I just remember sitting in like the vet's like, little waiting room, wondering if Tuffy would be okay, but yeah, so that's kind of my story for right now. But yeah, you know, going back to the whole Joey thing, I can't believe people would like, <laughs> I, I can kind of believe it, but still, you know, so much so that he had to like talk for like five minutes about it in today's video, it's just kind of sad to me. Yeah, it, it, it kind of bothers me. I was like, how could anyone do that? People deal with pain in their own way. Some people cry. Some people want to talk about it. Some just want to get over it. We deal with things differently. And it just... Uh, it, it annoys me. <laughs> and, you know... I can go on, like, an entire rant about, like, how the world has changed. But I'm not going to. Because it's my opinion. And I don't feel like getting into it right now. <laughs> I really don't. But it's just, it felt like me. Sorry, someone's moving outside my door. It's weird. But yeah, so I'm gonna go before I rant some more. Um. I love you guys. I will talk to you tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Hope your day is fantastic. And yeah. <laughs> Bye.